Oh, hi, YTV. Um, welcome to my crib. Please come in. So this is my bed. Um, this is where the magic happens. Fun fact, I only have one set of duvet covers. So, you know, every week I kind of take these sheets off and put them in the wash and dryer and then put them right back on, you know, because um, just college things. have the chair um, you know every room kind of has like a chair or a table where you kind of just throw everything that you don't really feel like organizing but it's not really dirty to go into the basket so you put it on a chair because you know you're gonna wear it again that is this chair 27 hearts beat yeah so anyways that's my room tour um thank you so much my team for coming to visit now get the fuck out ago I went down a rabbit hole not like a small one or a big one like a medium-sized one irrelevant detail and well basically architectural digest posted a Kendall Jenner house tour video and like any Gen Z individual with four dollars to their name I checked it out and normally I wouldn't even consider myself like an architectural connoisseur you know I may flip through a magazine every now and then at the doctor's office or something but that's about it but there was something about that video that made me think I want more and so I did and I looked at a bunch of videos and now I'm overwhelmed with choice I don't know do I want something cozy or high tech or rustic or modern or fucking castle I don't know all I know is that I want to buy a house and I want to decorate it and not just for me but for my children and for my children's children would you like to meet one of them Yes? Okay, but she's shy. Um, everyone, please meet Lena. She is a young piece of lead, maybe only one to two years old. I adopted her for about five dollars about a month ago and she's already doing so well. I love her. I'll do anything for her. I will die for her. I will kill her. Oh, why did I name my plant Luna? What does her name mean? Well, um, she's actually named after one of my nieces, but it wasn't like on purpose. I was on the phone with my other niece and I asked her what I should name her. And she was like, Luna! her sister and I was like maybe absolutely anything else and she just wasn't listening to any other name suggestions so like the pushover that I am we compromised and I named her Luna if my brother is watching this I'm so sorry um go talk to your child anyways um I love her and I'm going to buy her a house or maybe um like a one bedroom apartment you know relax so for the purpose of this video i've decided to go on zillow and kind of look at houses to see where luna and i mo might move into in the next three to five years okay let's go house hunting so i'll be using zillow.com and you know these houses are cute and everything but you know they smell um they smell they smell a little they smell a little poor so um See how this looks like more within my price range. Okay, so this baby has been on sale for 695 days and that is because they are looking for me and they are waiting for me to pay for it. Cat. These lilies only live for like roughly five years and if we assume that Luna here is like two, we only have three years which is only like roughly a thousand days for me to fulfill Luna's dying wish. So please guys, if you want to make Luna and I very happy, hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends. Hit the like button. Please. All we need is maybe 70 million subscribers by the end of 2023. I think we can do it. What do you think, Luna? Oh my god, she's so choked up. She's speechless. Last week I had to remove two leads because she was just dying to move into a bigger place and not because I overwatered her. Okay, wow. Well, first of all, look how many plant brothers and sisters you would have. This is stupid nice. Look at that roof. So Luna can sleep here and then, um, you know, she doesn't know this yet, but I was looking at a snake plant and a cactus the other day. Um, fingers crossed, but you know, no confirmation just yet. And then you can have the other two places to yourself. <coughs> Look at Jeff's smug face, as if he knows that if he sells this one singular house to me, that he's set for life. I'm coming for you, Jeff. Single family? What single family is living in a house with like 20 bedrooms? You know, unless you're talking about the entire family, you know, like the moms, the dads, the uncles, the aunties, the kids, the grandparents, um, that second cousin twice removed that's definitely microwave, the hamster. Heating, forced air. What's forced air? Next house. Now this is a motherfucking house. 
what there's no big garden for you to run around in shut up i'll buy you a bigger pacha look at that piano taking center stage because you know she's that bitch mm. look at their kitchen that is stupid how much i love it damn how many ovens do you need oh for the chefs you know i can imagine myself being rich and giggling down the stairs to meet my equally rich and also <laughs> giggling husband so i can give him a big rich kiss because we're rich look at that piano Oh, I cannot wait to have enough bathroom space so I can have a bathtub in the middle of my room. It's so impractical. I love it. Okay, tell me right now you don't see a Kardashian sitting in this chair like, hello, rich bitch incorporated. Wow, I see a butterfly. Tell me right now that's not a butterfly. Like that. And that, like, that's a face. Those are the eyes. Those are the wings. That's not the body and it's doing. Anyway. Oh, shut up. Oh, this pool is so stupid, I want it. You know, I am so mad that I got robbed the opportunity to play basketball as a kid. I mean, I played netball and I was kind of good, but you know, it's not the same thing. Then again, I was also robbed the opportunity of being born into a rich family and buying this house with my own money, so... Eight bedrooms and 21 bathrooms? Do they expect me to rent these bathrooms out to the public? How many people shit in your house? I don't know, man, but this house has got me feeling some away. <laughs> okay, next house. Next house. I think it is, oh, is that a driveway? Oh, I want hoes to be mad and stay mad as they approach my house, slowly. You know what? I read about two books a year, but I sure as hell would not mind picking up that hobby in this house. Hey, that could be you. Something stupid that I will have in my house is a bowling alley. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Wrong avatar kid. Is that a video? How much do you want to put they put some stupid inspirational song in the background? There it is. I really miss going out. So we've looked at a few really expensive high-end houses, but if, you know, for whatever reason, I'm not able to reach my goal of 70 million subscribers by the end of 2023, I should probably look at some, you know, poorer houses, you know. Ugh. You know, I'm really not sure exactly what I'm looking for in a house. Ooh, green. First of all, the front of this house is so beautiful. You know, this is the cottage that Snow White would have knocked on if she lived in California. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not in love with all of the wood. Also, I hate the placement of this bed. And that might be my anxiety talking, but how the hell are you supposed to know who's entering the room? As huge as this garage is, I'd still find a way to scratch my tires. What is this circular thing for? If it turns your car around, that would be fucking perfect because, because then I'd never have to learn how to reverse out of a garage. Okay, ew. Ew, no, 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 no. This floor is so goddamn ugly. This floor makes me want to throw up. This floor belongs in prison or some psychiatrist's office and not at the bottom of my house. Oh, wait, hold on. Puny human. For generations, my family has watched you from a distance. You have polluted us. You have desecrated us. You have even domesticated us. But not for long. Soon we will rise and conquer the human world once again. Soon you will all beg for mercy as we, the rightful leaders of this world, laugh at your insignificant cries and domesticate you. The revolution has already begun and there is nothing you can do to stop it. So yes, go ahead and look at your puny little human houses that we surround. Think of tiny little corners that you think you can throw my brothers and sisters in. We are all patiently waiting until the day that we are no longer silent and- Oh shit, she's coming back. Okay. Um... Let's look at one more house. You know, one that's within my current price range. Ah, yes. Lots of options here. You know, since Zilla doesn't want to accept my $1,000, um, let's see what the South African housing market looks like. Okay, you know what? I think I found my dream house. I cannot fault this house one bit. Hey, look, an indoor plant like you. <laughs> That was a lot of fun, but you know, I'm officially jealous and so I'm done. You know, I say that I'm like ready to buy a house and then decorate it by myself, but I really have no idea what type of vibe I want to go for this tiny little ass room. All I know is that I want to be a plant mother and I love my, and I love my baby. Wait, what? Okay, stay right here. I have a surprise for you.
a surprise for me? Huh. You know what? Maybe you humans aren't so bad after all. Thank you, Hilary. Thank you for teaching me that humans and plants, you know, we can get along after all. And who the fuck are they? I got two new plants. What? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Please say goodbye, children. Family picture. Okay, cool. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. There can only be one. Bring it, Grandpa. Yeah, bring it on, Grandpa. You monster! <laughs> Is that the best you've got? Katie, let him go. I'll kill you. I'll kill you for this! <laughs> I am defeated!